Okay guys, so this is the second part of the video, and if you haven't seen the first part, I'll leave a link down in the description. So about a week ago, I was in the States, and as far as I can tell, these are only available in the States right now. These are all retro theme boxes. You have uh, Legend of Zelda, a Super Nintendo styled box that has Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and Game Boy um, collectibles and accessories in it, as well as the Super Mario box and there is a Call of Duty World War II box. Both of those I would like to pick up eventually, I just, you know, didn't have $120 to spend. These are $29.98 American, so I picked up the Legend of Zelda and I picked up the Super Nintendo boxes. So I'm gonna open those up today. I have the video sped up times two, just so we're not uh, watching me unwrap everything and show it. I'm gonna try and show it from two different angles so that you can see everything, and then uh, I'll let you know if I think it's actually worth it. Alright, so here I am, opening up the box. First thing out is a plushy Triforce. Pretty cool, you know, decent size. Next is the collector coins, Zelda number one, it has Nintendo on the back. Then there is a uh, piggy bank, or I guess a uh, chest bank, made out of wood. Pretty nice, that's gonna go on the shelf. And this again, 50% off your first order from the new company that's taken over the boxes. That's a nice decal of the uh, Hylian shield that's definitely going on the car. And then I think this was the uh, mystery prize, but everyone gets the same thing. It's a vinyl toy of uh, a bag with rupees spilling out of it. Oh, I'm going to put this back in the box right away. I think it looks better in the box. And then a uh, notepad with uh, faux leather, but it's got uh, more Legend of Zelda logos on it front and back it's got a button snap on it nice pages a little bit more zelda detail on it you know it's nice i don't know if i would use it and then the box with the styrofoam covering with the drinking glass the beer glass again with the shield and sword etched on it beautiful glass i'm definitely going to keep it you know overall it's not bad for thirty dollars for what you get this piggy bank is nice i'm definitely going to use that sticker the glass Oh, can't complain about it. Again, you get 50% off uh, Culturefly. Now, it says built by Culturefly, but when you go check out their website, I can't actually find these boxes for sale. So I don't know if they bought out the inventory, if it's discontinued. Uh, we'll talk about more of that uh, at the end of the video. But, you know, overall for what you get, um, I'm not sad about spending $30 on it, but I definitely know I don't need to buy another one because all the boxes are exactly the same. Now what I've noticed for my split screen, because I filmed with my video camera and then my iPhone, there's like a slight time discrepancy. I notice it so it bugs me, and now that I've mentioned it, you'll probably notice it and it's gonna bug you too, but you know. So this is the uh, Nintendo box that looks like a Super Nintendo, and obviously I'm gonna keep, keep the box. It's a collectible box, I really like it, and uh, it locks Ness Monster, so why wouldn't I keep it? Start off with the uh, Nintendo controller plushie. You get a pin, a coin, you can see how the boxes are put together so we can start to guess what's in a Super Nintendo, uh, the Nintendo box and the Call of Duty box, plus you know everything's on the side so there's no huge spoilers but I do like what's in this box, these coasters are beautiful, they're made to look like uh, NES carts. I'm definitely going to keep those. I don't know if I'm going to use them, but I'm definitely going to keep them. And then this, uh, you know, the Zelda glass is nice, but a coffee mug with the Game Boy on it, and it's those heat-activated ones. You know, definitely for me. I don't seem too enthused in the video, but, you know, looking at it overall, this is definitely worth $30. This is a box to buy. Like, if you're a Zelda fan, go for it. But this is a good box. And again, it comes with the Culture Fly. You get 50% off your first order. Like, they're not endorsing this, but I would order it. Again, the plush is about hand size, and uh, I think the real novelty here, the, the one that I seem to like the most, are these NES coasters. You get Mario, Mario 2, Mock Rider, really cool stuff. Overall, this was my favorite box. And again, I'm not entirely sure if Culture Fly just bought 
the remainder of the inventory of these Nintendo boxes or if they were truly selling them and they're just not available right now. Because if you go check them out online, culturefly.com, they've got uh, DC Universe, Squishies, Shopkins, Game of Thrones, Jay and Silent Bob, Nickelodeon. They have a lot of different boxes that you can buy as a one time or you can do a subscription based box thing with them. So, you know, they might be worth checking out. But uh, again, overall for me, uh, the Nintendo was a definite buy if you're a collector. Legend of Zelda, eh, you know, the glass was nice, but uh, you know how it goes. Down in the comments, let me know what you thought of the boxes, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, this is Locks and This Monster signing off.